Hello everyone, my name is Connor and today I'm going to be reviewing the Kuva Wallpapers application which is supported both on the iPhone and on the Mac OS X operating system. Um, so you can go ahead and download this via the link um, directly below this video. It'll send you to this page in the Mac App Store um, and this is a page for the listing of the Kuva Wallpapers application spelled with two V's. Now the only downside of this application is that it is $4.99 and from what I understand it actually used to be free. Um, so that's kind of a really big bummer but I do really love the product so I am going to uh, go ahead and still endorse it because the application does provide an amazing array of wallpapers that you can use and they're really curated uh, with a lot of good content to endorse the creators of those wallpapers as well. Um, so here are the pages. Again, the app is $4.99. You can go ahead and download that with the link below in the video. So let's jump right into the actual application itself. You can go ahead and see that you can access it either from the menu bar or your dock. Um, and I have it on the menu bar because it takes up a lot less space. Uh, you can also tell whether or not to turn on or off on login. Um, which is another great feature because it allows you to go ahead and I'll have this automatically running as soon as your computer starts up and none of these files are actually stored on your device so it's all streamed from um, a remote server. So up here you can choose between popular or featured and if you go ahead and you find an artist that you really like for instance let's say the uh, artist that comes up on the next wallpaper we really like you can go ahead and set the um, application to just rotate that artist. Um, so the application go ahead and refreshes the wallpaper um, depending on the amount of time that you give it. So we can do it either every 30 minutes, hourly, 12 hour, daily, weekly, etc. So let's say we really really liked um, this wallpaper that came up. We can go ahead and click on the application and click on about the artist and we'll pull up a page about the artist of the um, wallpaper and it'll give a bi biography, um, it'll give a little bit of information about her work, her website, and usually some sort of a social media channel for you to go ahead and find the artist. It'll also preview a bunch more of her pieces and you can go ahead and select um, the images and you can either buy them or you can click on um, the computer button, hit launch application, and it'll go ahead and load that wallpaper that you launched um, within the Kuva application. Now they also have an uh, iPhone product and it does the exact same thing. However, I do not think their iPhone product is worth the $1.99 they ask for it. Um, you can easily find iPhone applications um, that are free to that do the exact same thing. Uh, maybe not with the level of curated content, but um, there are definitely applications that I think that are better than the Kuva wallpapers application on iOS so I'm not even going to review that application. Another great thing that Kuva has going for it being in the cloud is that it allows you to sign in and create an account so you can go here and collect sign in and then you can create an account with um, Kuva and what that would allow you to do is sync up a bunch of your favorite wallpapers from their collection and create your own curated personal stream and you can also access that from your iPhone again because they're a cloud service however the iPhone application you have to pay for as well as the Mac application so that is one major downflaw that I see um, within the Kuva system Besides that, I do recommend the Kuva application for the Mac OS X operating system and again, don't for iOS um, because of how their pricing works out. Overall, I give it a download and you can like this video if you agree and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest on OS X Yosemite applications and iOS application reviews.